Hello everyone, I'm Sir Z, your science teacher from Kalayan Integrated School. This episode is for the Grade 5 Science Class, Module 1. For today's video, our lesson is about recognizing useful and harmful materials. The module that we will use for this lesson is this one. Once we're done with this video, you should be able to identify the different properties of matter, classify materials whether they are useful or harmful, enumerate useful and harmful materials at home and at school, and develop ideas on how to put useful materials into good use. Before we start, I need you to prepare your notebook and pen because I want you to post the video when needed and jot down important notes to help you with your study and review. Are you ready? Let's go! Everything around us is matter. Besides, that is practically the definition of matter. If you still remember, matter is anything and everything that occupies space and has mass. Matter can be a solid object, liquid, or gas. Matter have different properties that make them good materials for producing useful products. Either these are raw materials to create new products or used items to create recycled products. However, some materials also have properties that can be considered harmful. That is why it is important that we will be able to identify materials that are useful from those materials that are harmful to keep ourselves or our environment safe. What I know. From page 1 of your module, to answer the activity under what I know, number your papers from 1 to 5. Read the following items and then write D if what was said is desirable or katanggap-tanggap or write H if what was said is harmful or nakakasama. Number 1. Placing the biodegradable waste in the compost pit. Number 2. Smelling the fumes exhausted by cars. Number 3. Using broken glass to cut paper. Number 4. Covering the textbook with acetate. Acetate means plastic cover. And number five, burning plastic bottles. Let us now move to page two for letter B activity. I will show you the pictures one at a time. Number your papers from one to five and on each number, write the letter from these options that best describes the picture shown. The options are A, kills insects and pests. B. Cleans dirty clothes. C. Use in cooking food. D. Causes poisoning in debt. And E. Protects the wall and roofs. You will just write the letter for the answer. Here are the pictures. 1. Paint. 2. Detergent. 3. Insecticide. 4. Oil 5. Spoiled milk Spoiled means panis. Lesson 1. Recognizing useful and harmful materials. We are now on page 3. On your paper, write the title, What's In? And copy this table that I am showing on the screen. Post the video if you need to while copying. In the table that you just copied, under the left column, list the names of the items I will show you that are commonly found at home. Under the right column, list the names of the items that I will show you that are commonly found at the school. Again, for the left column, the items found at home. At the right column, these are for the items that are found at the school. Are you ready? Post this video while you are answering. Good luck and do your best. Very good class. We can now turn to page number 4. On your paper with the title What's New, number your paper from 1 to 5. To answer this activity, Write useful if the material in the picture that I will show you is useful. Write harmful if the picture is a material that is harmful. 
Good luck! Amazing! You are doing such a great job. I am proud of you. Keep it up. Materials are said to be useful when they serve their purpose. Ibig sabihin, useful daw ang materials kapag ito nung binili mo ay nagawa yung dapat niyang gawin kaya mo siya binili. These materials may have properties such as durability, flexibility, elasticity, hardness, and resistance to water, heat, or acid. Take note, we already discussed the different physical and chemical properties of matter when you were still in grade 4. Most materials can be reused, while some are great for recycling projects. Hmm, can you still remember the difference between reusing and recycling? Let us recall, reuse is to use the material for the same purpose. Ibig sabihin kung bote siya ng toyo dati, gagamitin mo ulit siya bilang lalagyan ng toyo. Recycle is to use the material for a different purpose. Ibig sabihin naman ito, yung bagay na yon ay ginagamit sa ibang paraan, ngayon, gagamitin mo na siya sa iba namang paraan. Page 5, Activity 1. On your paper, write the title, Activity 1. Copy the table I am showing on the screen. Post this video while you are copying. In this table, under the column at the left, list the things that I will show you later which are useful. While under the right column, list what you think are the materials that are harmful. Are you ready? Here we go! I am so glad that you were able to reach this far. Can you still do the remaining activities? I know you can because you are one of my amazing students. For page 6, write the title Activity 2 on your paper. And then copy the table that is on the screen. Post the video while you are copying. To answer this activity, read each entry at the left side. If you think the listed materials are useful, place a check mark under useful. But if you think the listed materials are harmful or a waste, place your check mark under harmful or waste. Post this video while answering. Good luck! Awesome! Hold on tight, we're almost done. Go back to your paper and write the title for this activity. The title is Activity 3. You don't need to copy everything written in this activity. I just want you to number your paper from 1 to 10. And then read and study each line carefully. To answer, if what was written is useful, I want you to draw a smiling face emoji as your answer. But if you think it is harmful, draw a sad emoji face. Got it? Very good. Go ahead and answer the activity. I am counting on you. I know you can do this. Page 7. On your paper, write the title, What I Have Learned. Here's what I need you to do. Instead of copying the paragraph, I just want you to number your paper from 1 to 5. Read the paragraph and then once you reach a blank space, write your word answer on the number for that blank space. Select and copy your word answers from these options. Post the video while you are answering. How are you doing so far? Still great? Okay, don't worry. For the meantime, I want you to take a break. Recess muna tayo. But once we are back, it is quiz time. Alright, we are back. Are you ready for your quiz? For page 8 on your paper, write the title Assessment. Number your papers from 1 to 10. To answer, read and study each entry very carefully. If you think the entry you read is useful, answer with a check mark. But if you think it is harmful, answer with an X mark.
There you go. Congratulations, you were able to reach the end of today's lesson. That was an amazing show of your talent. You did great and for the meantime, you deserve a good rest. That is all for now class. I am very proud of you all. This is Sir Z. I am expecting your answer sheets and modules to be submitted by Monday by your parents. See you all again next week.